Our old location uh, that was in Tigard, Oregon, this is where North Star sort of started, was a, a random place. We had, a, we had about six buildings there and um, we started pretty much with one building. You know, the first building ever rented was just one small building. So you had your bathroom, your shipping department, your furnace room, quality control, and it was all in a very small, about 2,500 square foot building. Um, at that time, the market was very small, so you really didn't have this huge plethora of, you know, sales and everything. It was sort of growing itself organically. And, you know, over the years, probably about the last five years, the industry has created a demand that most manufacturers can't keep up with. Moving into the new facility was one of the most amazing experiences, but also one of the saddest. Working at the old facility, watching it grow, watching us develop new colors, new techniques of glass. It was sad because that old building had so much history and so many memories in it. But moving to the new facility, it's really given us a rebirth. It's really allowed us to see a new vision for North Star, team building with our crew, the staff. While we were building the new facility, we were really able to build exactly how we wanted it. Put hoods in the right places that they weren't before at the old facility build automated pulling systems. It's given us enough power to build whatever we want, as many furnaces as we want, as many furnaces as we needed to supply the on-growing demand of this market. It's really been an experience of a lifetime. At times, it was a struggle for me being the owner of North Star, managing and facilitating all the building, the design that needed to happen for the new facility. And at times, I just wanted to give up it was scary spending this kind of money for an industry that we didn't know what the future is. But we did have a drive to make this happen for everybody. This is really something that we built for these artists and uh, hopefully it can take us into the future. As far as where North Star is going and the expansion of it is, is phenomenal and where I really feel it's very important is how he's treating artists and how he wants to create a relatively fair market price for a glass that is a plus quality. Ideally, you know, we just want it in the hands of artists and he wants it in the hands of artists. So this expansion has allowed him to step up production and also step up his experiments. Um, which is something he has always wanted to do, was to experiment more. Yeah, I mean, our old location was so spread out, having to walk to different buildings, and the buildings themselves were not necessarily built for this type of industry. I mean, the fact that our buildings were, had thin walls and the sun heat them up, so we were dealing with heat from the inside and heat from the outside. Um, now we have a space that we can, it's all one space and we can walk to wherever we need to and it's been an industrial warehouse for I don't know how long, um, but it's got everything we need. We have all the power we need. We have everything we need here. In the beginning it was a lot of work, a lot of late nights, a lot of long weekends, but uh, now that we're finally here and to see everything starting to come together and be producing color here and sending color out of here, it's, it's really happening. So it's uh, the light at the end of the tunnels finally arrived. It's all connected and it's more space. And we can all kind of, you know, chit chat or walk over, talk to the guys in production if we need something from them or have a question. Um, North Star went from pretty much 12,000 square feet to 50,000 square feet. And um, we've got capabilities to keep up with the demand in the market, plus add a huge product line that was hopefully never there before. I guess that now we're all under one roof. And I kind of feel like we're a little bit more can operate as a team and operate as one instead of these like uh, individual parts of the company. Shipping never saw production and the batching never saw you know half of what was getting produced and now you can just step around the corner and check in with quality control on how how were my last rods I made were they good I don't know now you can go ask somebody. 
And so that's why now the new factory has just given us so much more. The team is together, everyone's working together. The guys know what's shipping out, the guys know what's being manufactured. So it just creates a lot more of that sort of family brought together business. Since we've gotten in here, everybody's just been able to breathe. You know, we have the right equipment, the right power, you know, the right building. Everything is just seemed to be clicking. And that's what we all needed as a team here at North Star. We need this rebirth. What's been most exciting about the move, I think, is the opportunity to, to really make this our own. Um, having worked at North Star for so long and for uh, various people. Um, now Abe's kind of taken over and has really allowed a lot of uh, breadth and decision to, to do what we want to do with it. So this is that opportunity. old location we were pretty much handcuffed to you know standard colors that we've been developing for years and years and years and also at that time as the demand increased we just had more demand of those same colors so it would only allow us maybe two colors once in a great while a year but it was really one year some of these glasses take you know six months to five years to develop depending on like what you're doing and how you're developing them and so now what it's allowing us to do is really spend a lot of time on developing new colors looking at old colors that people uh, like to see that were experiments that we can go back to. It sort of sky's the limit, but our goal is to, you know, hopefully be releasing anywhere from five to 12 colors a year starting 2016. There's, I've never been with a company that's like North Star because it's, it's totally just like everyone, everyone knows what's going on. There, it's not really, no one's blind to something that's going on in a different department. If something's going down, we all know about it. Uh, we're all very close as far as coworkers. I know all of them and we're all buddies. You know, like, I've been here since I was 21 and, you know, you do stupid shit when you're young and Abe's been understanding of that and made sure I had a place I could, you know, make a living at and get my back. So I would say working for Abe, it's, it's kind of like that cool uncle, you know? <laughs> Working with Abe is awesome. Uh, it's almost like working with a brother or family member sometimes and almost like the toughest boss you've ever had sometimes. So he's a good guy to work for. You know, it's really hard to find that balance of being a boss, um, understanding how to run a business, plus, you know, have the respect of the employees. Um, you know, so the way I deal with a lot of that is just being kind to my employees, being direct on what needs to be done. Um, if they can't do it, try to find the weaknesses and strengths that you know, we can help the employee grow. You know, I've not let go of any employees based around our full automation either. And what I see really exciting for me is to be able to take care of my employees. You know, have them, you know, an actual occupation that they can pay their bills and pay the increased cost of living. You know, allow my employees to actually be, you know, stable from a small business that we can help take care of them. You know, that excites me. You know, it really is exciting that I can actually be sort of the coach of that team to help these guys better themselves. North Star for me is security, is my livelihood outside of work. You know, this is what keeps me from the negative things that other people fall into. I'm busy, I have something to do and I have something to look forward to each day and trying to do better at that. So that's the main benefit for North Star for me as a young man, you know, father also. So. I actually love it here. I think the industry and North Star really have grown together over the time that I've been here. Um, and it's been an amazing thing to see. It's been a little challenging. There's a lot of hard work that goes into making color. What base glasses you're sourcing from where they come in the world um, determines what color you're gonna end up making. How hot is hot? How much air is too much air? How much is okay? Uh, but being pushed by the artists 
to come up with something new and different and exciting all the time is uh, it's a great motivator. To be creative, to be challenged in life, I think is important. Uh, and that's the relationship that we have with our artists. You know, North Star has allowed me to, you know, evolve as a glass artist a lot because, you know, we work together, you know, and it's, it's one of these things where I, I make something really amazing out of the color that they're making, which is already amazing. And so it's, you know, scratch my back, scratch your back. You know, I get you to represent AKM and North Star, and then North Star is able to sit back and be like, hey, this guy is making this stuff. Look at what, what, look at what you can do with our material. It's great being on a basis with these guys where you can actually give them a call and say, hey, Abe, you know, I'm having an issue with this. It's boiling, it's doing that, you know, and he'll kind of touch me up a little bit and be like, have you tried it like that, you know? And so change your temperatures, work in a different atmosphere perhaps, maybe change your annealing cycle. You know, color, it's not all the same, you know, so you gotta learn how to use it. And to be able to contact the manufacturer direct and work with them direct, it really, you know, it, it takes the middleman out of everything and it takes the I don't know out of it either. They know everything about their color and it helps me know everything about their color. I think that all of the artists are always very excited to get all the new colors and I think that the ability to have a relationship with a company like that where you can get access to those colors and be the tester and let everyone know how it's working is is invaluable because once your peers see what you're doing with it, they're able to see what they're going to do with it and it's just a trickle down effect and it's all going to come back. The cross marketing that North Star has been able to do with certain artists, I think they should continue to do. We should all continue to do it and more artists should strive to build a relationship like that because in the end, it just works better for everybody. Well, of course, there's like the obvious, you know, more colors, more possibilities, better palette, you know, better product. But on the other end of that, it's almost actually created a little bit more work for all of us. <laughs> Things used to be simple back in the day. Me personally, I, cu I couldn't do what I do without North Star. It's my favorite color. It's the most you know, durable, large shaped, I don't know, multifaceted material that I can use in all sorts of, of angles. Where a lot of the other companies, I can't find colors that I can really go large with. And North Star has supplied me with things like amber purple, which has been a huge, huge part of my career. Oh, definitely. Yeah, we're the most, we're the most critical, um, you know, tests that he does. You know, we're the guys that are cracking big stuff out of it and being like, dude, what the hell, this piece cracked, man. I mean, you know, and he'll tell us why and, and uh, what he can do about it. And so hopefully he makes the changes. Uh, we see him make the changes, you know, immediately after we tell him things uh, that are going right or wrong with the color, so. But then there's the other end of the spectrum. I can call Abe up and I can say, hey, Abe, have you seen this? Do you know that the color is doing this? And he's like, well, what are you talking about? You know, I can get pictures back to him and whatnot. And he's like, oh, wow. And they can use that information and, you know, put it right back into their own system. And I think that's really important because it's both, both sides of the spectrum. You don't want to just hear all the bad stuff that's going on. You want to know why it's working good as well. You know, how can you fix the bad if you don't know how it works good? You know, for us, we're always looking to improve that. We might find a color where we're like, God, there's nothing else we can do. And then as we're developing another color, we find something out that we're going, oh, wow, we can add that now to that old glass that we still thought was really good and make it even better. Going through each color the way Abe has, which a lot of people might not know, I'm not sure if he's like came out there and actually boasted about the fact that he's gone through every single color they have and reworked them to make sure they work as good as they can work. You know, we can get the best possible result out of it and, you know, the best possible end product. And I think that is like a, just a key factor. You know, it takes a lot of the guesswork out of it for me and for others. You know, we don't have to wonder if this color is going to work with that color or not. It's freed us all up, I think. Definitely has freed my mind up. I don't have to think about whether or not I can get a color or how I can make the color. You know, I can just focus on whether or not I want to make the piece at hand you know, and how I'm gonna shape it out. And that's, I think, a little bit more valuable for me to spend my time doing. From looking at this from just a material basis, I feel like these colors are all fairly new. I mean, we've only had 
bright you know cadmium reds for 10 15 years now and that's still a very small thing when you're talking about like when painters got red paint and when glass blowers got red glass i mean we just got red glass in the last 15 years so to to see what that's going to do next add another 40 colors give you know Abe a new facility like this and the ability to make new colors it's just uh, it's, i'm just excited it's going to be so cool to see like what happens next to really understand the glass and how it works in an everyday setting, you know, we're always relying on artists. You know, the artists are ones who call us and go, hey, we really don't like the way that worked, or wow, this works, can you make other colors look like that? So, you know, as a manufacturer, you're always having to have a very tight personal relationship with, you know, the artists who are using the glass. Because, you know, it can only go so far when it comes to testing in your own facility. You know, as I started manufacturing glass and took over North Star, that relationship became stronger and stronger because I was relying on them more to give us feedback about the product and what works good, what doesn't work good. You know, glass that I might be like, this is the most amazing thing. An artist might be like, yeah, it's cool, but it, there's a problem here, here, here. So that personal relationship between the manufacturer and the artist, you know, it really has to be tight. And so I think being able to reach out like that definitely helps a lot. You know, just having, you know, anybody, you can call, if Abe's not there, it doesn't matter. You can still talk to somebody. Somebody can help you figure it out. You know, and if they're not working, let's say, with the same issues we're working with in our own shops with the pieces we're making, but they're still working with the same glass. And that makes a big difference because they can explain it to us from their point of view. And that might make a, you know, much bigger difference. It's just that customer contact and support I think it's key. I feel like North Star to me is is going to be the next Billabong, the next Pal Peralta, the next Quicksilver. You know, we've been in infancy for a long time and we're kind of coming out of that. And the world is now taking note of it. So North Star to me is leading a lot of artists. But you know, for us, I mean, it's really trying to fulfill the need of the community. You know, what the community wants, what we can give them that we're not giving them right now. And uh, you know, as we massage the new building and we massage our new technology and sort of get it to where you know, we feel it needs to be, I really feel we're gonna be filling a void that no other color manufacturer in history has that ever been able to do. But yeah, I mean, the biggest excitement to me is developing new colors. That's where I get excited. You know, when uh, my production crew can say, Abe, you've got six furnaces here to do whatever you want to do, that's what excites me. You know, it makes me feel good that I can develop something new, give it to some artists, let them feel the same way I do. So, I mean, for me, it's, it, that's a very exciting part. You know, when I first started, it was, I liked melting things. I enjoyed pipes, you know, and, um, but I've become a man here um, and learned what responsibility is. You know, it is my life. It is what I do, it's my passion. Um, it's my opportunity to affect social change. I can help support artists that think like me, look like me, that have families, um, and I can help pass down those values into our society through doing this. Each aspect of our industry has grown, and everybody's really taken on a role of that and made it what it is today. It was never just the artists, it was never just North Star. Um, it's never just the torch manufacturers. It's all of us working together to create this beauty. In all reality, glass sort of saved my life. Um, you know, I think if I never found it, never found my place in it, probably be, you know, in jail or in trouble or not being where I am right now. And glass has sort of transformed my life. You know, I was a lamp worker myself before I started making color. Um, I've been lamp working for about 20 years. And, you know, glass has just been this thing that I've always been enthralled about. So, you know, for me, glass is really 
allowed me to express my artistic end of things, no matter if it is glass blowing or developing new colors or developing new processes for North Star to manufacture the glass. So, you know, glass is really, it's changed my life and it is my life. Picking anything in my whole entire life, this is what I wanna do and this is where I wanna stay.